and also just yo 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 why did no one teach me how you need to literally have boundaries welcome to my channel welcome to yet another video in today's video we have something a bit different something that i usually used to do but because of <clears throat> life <clears throat> i stopped doing it and that's a chit chat get ready with me but this time it's a girl chat i'm gonna be talking all things navigating your 20s things that i've learned in my 20s things that i'm struggling with and i've struggled with and i'm learning to overcome because I feel like these conversations need to be had. This also forms a part of my conversation corner episodes because I haven't been able to film the episodes. So I'm basically trying to fill in the gaps and also talk to you guys so you guys can also get to know the way that I think, the way that I feel about certain things and just how life operates. This is not a tutorial. I'm not going to show you guys the products that I'm using like when I'm using them. Um, but yeah, I'm just really excited. I'm using a, I'm going to be doing a different technique on how I usually do my makeup. And I'm just excited to see how it turns out. And I hope that you guys are also excited for this conversation because I'm excited. So let's get crack a ducky. First gonna put something on my lips. Cause yeah. And y'all know when I'm looking on the side, it's cause of my mirror. I'm also just gonna be sort of telling you guys how this year is going how the year last year went i literally wrote everything down in this piece of paper because i don't want to use my phone or get distracted i'm learning that skincare is so important when you do your makeup so i named this that i've struggled with or am struggling with in my 20s and growing up i'm realizing a lot of things and that life is just a constant cycle of realizing okay Number one, when I first started my YouTube channel, I used to really struggle with um, comparing myself um, to others and also just comparing my journey to certain people's journeys. And this could be either um, YouTube journeys, this could be, this could be any, any sort of journey that I felt like I needed to be in because I saw other people in their journeys you know i sort of struggled with seeing my own journey right and i think comparison just stems from a place of you see so many things and in this digital world that we live in right now a lot of things are posted on social media and we feel as though we know everything about someone when we really don't really know everything we only, we only know what they show to us right in the beginning of my youtube channel like in first year because i started my channel in <clears throat> 2019 I was realizing that girl I was really comparing myself a lot and I think it also came with how I saw myself social media because I felt I felt like everything that I was doing was revolving around social media but I sort of learned and I grew relationship with God also grew throughout my journey of um, this comparison thing and I actually realized that you're actually not supposed to be comparing your journey with any other journey but for the reason that I am Wandisa is because I only bring to the table what Wandisa it can bring to the table i can't bring to the table what another person brings to the table the way that i edit the way that i show myself the way that i take pictures i'm the only one i'm the author of my own life and measuring my life to someone else's life just doesn't really make sense or not even that it doesn't make sense it's not ideal because when you start comparing yourself to someone else's journey you also forget about the growth that you've made you forget about the progress that you've made individually and your personal growth was okay i'm gonna turn turn on my fan for my it's actually my mom's fan for my face Ooh, that was a nice twist because also comparison is the, is a thief of joy the moment you also start comparing yourself is the moment you literally are setting yourself up for you not being happy in your life i'd say that's that those are my take Oh, that's my take on what that I've been struggling with or something that I am still consistently learning is setting boundaries yo 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 why did no one teach me how you need to literally have boundaries like in your life because I think my upbringing I was always a people's pleaser I was always trying to please 
my family i was always trying to please the people around me like i was i wasn't able to say no to certain things or certain people and that's because i was raised in a way where i felt like if i was saying no i'm disappointing someone sorry i'm alone and you know when you're alone and you hear sounds i i started not understanding and not grasping Guti. actually you were you you did certain things because you felt like they were right but now that you're older you can actually make your own decisions you can actually set your own boundaries according to what you believe in if you don't want to do something don't do it you don't have to always say yes you don't always have to be like you're down for something if you're not down for it you know if you're not down for it you're not down for it and if that person um i guess values enough or values your relationship or your friendship enough so let me just quickly finish doing my brows and then i'll come back as i was saying about um boundaries it's very very important to understand or know the type of person that you are so that you don't find yourself in situations where you're not able to maybe speak up or you're not able to talk about something because of because you're scared about if you're gonna lose someone or if you're gonna if things are still gonna be the same and i think that's a lot that's something that i um personally was going through because a lot of times like when i was saying yes to these things sometimes i wouldn't want to go because i'd be like yo if i say no then i'm not gonna be in this person's life anymore like this person won't want to be surrounded by me you know and i don't think that's that's the truth the more you actually show someone that you're, you're real or you're your true self the more that they accept you as they are and if they don't want to accept you in that manner or that way then i guess they're not supposed to be in your life i'm realizing as i keep growing each and every single day of my life i keep learning different things and that's because i actually am able to self-introspect and actually teach myself to be in tune with myself because it's very easy to get lost it's very very easy to get lost and not knowing what you stand for anymore or not knowing what you believe in because of maybe the noise that you're surrounded by the people that you're surrounded by and i think for me the most important thing was actually sitting down with myself and understanding and and internalizing you know it's very important that thing i feel like life just comes with so many lessons and not just lessons on their own like the lessons come with realizations or they also come with not necessarily battles but battles in a sense if you're not dealing with this you're dealing with this if you're not dealing with this you're dealing with this you know but i think that's just the beauty of life i'm really Basic. Navigating my 20s has just been a very interesting journey and it hasn't been the easiest but I think I'm doing okay and I've I'm learning to accept that I will not know everything I will not know everything I will not know what tomorrow brings I will not know what what next year brings but what I do know is that if I keep my trust with the most high everything will go according to plan every little thing will go according to plan so i guess this is just me also trying to um teach and help everyone that leave it all to god or whoever you believe in whether it's you're muslim whether you're not whatever you believe in even if, even if it's the universe let it don't let things in your head consume you you know carry on going and Things will eventually work out. So like I've 
I've said a, a mouthful, so you guys will literally just watch me do my makeup with the rest. I shared some knowledge and that someone out there heard me because that's what I aim to do. Let me listen to music now. Should I put it on shuffle? Okay, I'm gonna put it on shuffle. I love listening to playback songs. Music up. Just like that, we've reached the end of the video. This is basically the complete look. So much for watching this chit chat, girl chat, get ready with me. I hope that you learned a thing or two. Comment in the section down below where you relate the most, I guess, or to what I said. I'm really grateful for each and every single person that still watches my videos. Um, really, the support doesn't go unnoticed, and I love it when you guys comment because now I'm commenter, it feels like I'm and you know, it's just it's it's a happy family. Thank you so so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.